First time firing it up, don't know exactly what's gonna what's gonna happen. Let's just give it a shot and see what the hell. See what happens. Ready? Yeah, we'll see what happens here. Alright buddy, here we go. Today is the last video for our cam install series of our ComCams HRT Stage 2 cam kit. Finally in this video you will get to hear the car fired up and hear what that cam sounds like. I just got to put the head gas in. I don't know what happened. I couldn't even imagine like how much oil and coolant and shit would just be <laughs> flying out of there. Like it would probably be actually impressive. <laughs> like. That would be a lot of work just to find out what would happen, but it would be entertaining. Yeah. Okay, those are all started. Okay. Yeah, like I say, I'm not even... Just kind of using it to do the leg work for me. Yeah. Yep, and then bottom. And bottom on it. Bottom. Back to me bottom? Yeah. Over here? Yep. Right up front? Okay, top. Yep. See, now she's actually clicking properly though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotta come way over here, that's why. Yeah, it's gotta go like that's roughly where it's gonna line up, sort of. Yeah. You're okay if I start threading a little? Yeah, yeah, good. Just get it started. Yeah. And you're sitting happy? So far. Like you're lined up at least. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of? <laughs> This one isn't quite yet.
Yours are in? Yeah. This doesn't want to throw up though. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, this is going to be a little more yeah. tough for her, I think. What's this? It's a push rod. Okay. Yeah. Good idea. Uh, this one's spiral. This one's going to be a little fun. I mean, at least the push rods where they line up is up top by us, but... Yeah. Okay, that's roughly where she's got to sit. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. No, it's okay. That one's going to compress the spring a lot. Hmm. That one's close. That one's pretty much touching. This guy's still out. That's fucking up. Okay, I'm getting some tension on it now. Yeah, for sure. You really gotta like really pay attention to this thing. Yep. Okay. So now what I'd like to do is rotate the end of my hand a couple of revolutions get everything seated nice a couple of revolutions um, just kind of see how it's yes yeah, so the spring is seated then we'll reset the wrap oh I'm watching some valves move Some mm -hmm. Let's to, let's have some push. Oh. 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 That's it, trying to suck air through the intake? Yeah. Oh. Trying to do a full revolution? Well, our springs are all working. Everything seems to be working. Our push rods are making everything move. Yeah. Here again. Good. Our back is number one. Happy. Yeah. Let's recheck the torque on our rockers one more time. Let's go through them after we get it rotate. Yeah. Let's make sure we're still. Well, it's better design than typical paper gasket or anything stupid like that. Yeah, that looks like it would actually seal pretty good.
Okay guys, we got the heads reassembled and back on the car. We've got the timing cover bolted back up. Oil pan is attached to that. Um, now it's time to reattach my headers. Like I ever wanted a reason to practice doing headers over again. It was so brutal the first time. I guess we got them off easy enough. Now I gotta reinstall my headers, so do that and then we're getting pretty close to having the car finished buttoned up. So, wish me luck. <laughs> All good? Beautiful. So many questions, Carl. <laughs> you got it started? You are the man. Like. Ah, uh, maybe? Adjusted a bunch of ways here. That, that feels close. Yeah, that's threading now. There we go. Yeah, that's what I needed. There we go. She's well threaded there. Okay, good. Now maybe I can get that top one started. If you have another one, I can do this on the bottom one. See how far back she's gonna shoot. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. So you're not running a full synthetic, right? No. But coolant, if there's coolant in there, she'll come shoot out of there first. Yeah, there's coolant there. Yep. Yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. God damn it. <laughs> it's like maybe I'll just let it like slow drain out for a little bit just in case she wants to fly. Yeah, no, she did. <laughs> Oh, we should have give though. Mm, kind of. Oh, and then we're caught up on, on this point. Oh, you got her there? Yeah. Oh, beauty. Yeah. 
yeah, it was nothing worse on trying to do an install and realizing that you gotta go back in and fix everything. Yeah. <laughs> that round one though, I don't know what that's from. Or is that from on That's top? for the PCB. The gasket for it, but if you haven't had an issue, just leave it on. Because okay. usually that uh, that turn tab sometimes sometimes it break and then you're hunting. That would be annoying. Nothing too tight? Yeah, that's, that's good for now, just rub. Yeah, how long do you think it's going to smoke for? Might be bad. <laughs> Exciting because it means that we're almost there. Mm -hmm. Just don't forget to put that on first. Well, there's some vehicles like you gotta put it into the trickle like you can't. Really? Yeah. New Ford it takes 15 minutes just to register on the stick till it gets all settled in the pan and everything. Oh shit. It's crazy. That's really weird. It takes time to do those. So we're about to fire this thing back up. Um, we know that there's going to be a lot of coolant in the exhaust because right after we took off the driver's side head, there's a bit of coolant that spilled into that header and down with the exhaust. We know it's gonna smoke like crazy. So we're anticipating that, but I also just hope that everything's back together exactly how it's supposed to be 
all those gaskets are in there proper nothing's going to leak but uh, we also don't know how it's going to run because we don't have the proper tune for it right now for this cam that we just put in so it might run super rough too we do, it's a whole lot we don't know we're just going to give it a shot and see what the hell happens oh man okay let's see what the hell happens here ready all right, buddy, here we go. Dicky. We figured it would though. Yeah. Yeah. So far it's a success. Give it a give it a couple minutes and then try again. Try it again. Round two will give us another shot. Anyways guys, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight if you are thinking about doing a cam swap on your Challenger or Charger and what would be involved in doing it yourself. Hopefully I've helped you out with that a little bit in this series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And stay tuned guys, because next coming up is us taking the car back to the dyno, getting a proper dyno tune with it and seeing what kind of numbers that this cam could put down. I'm really, really excited to find out what she'll do. Anyways guys, take her easy.